calculate the currents in each resistor of the circuit shown below. So to do this, we have two batteries and two different branches. So we're probably not going to be able to reduce this down to one battery and one resistor. So we're going to use, I'm going to try to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. So Kirchhoff's voltage law means that whenever you go in a loop, the delta voltage between the two points is going to be zero because they are in fact the same point. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to do one loop this way. Um, this 40, 58 volt is way bigger than 3 volts, so I'm going to assume that it just totally dominates and the current goes like this. This will be I middle, this will be I left, and this will be I right. And so starting at this point, going around this way, we have 58 minus 120 I left minus 82 also I left minus 64 I middle and that's going to equal zero. Next loop we're going to have, I'll start right, actually I'm going to start right here and go this way in the direction of the current. So we're going to have negative three because we're going through a battery backwards minus 110 I right minus 64 I middle minus 25 I right again. Yep. And then we're going to use Kirchhoff's current law, which basically says that all the current going in equals all the current going out. And so actually we'll do it up here. A little bit easier. Same idea though. And so we're going to have I middle equals I left plus I right because we have I middle going in, I left and I right both going out. So I'm going to rewrite this in a way that's uh, friendly to a matrix. So I'm going to do negative 120 plus 82, that's 202. So we're going to have 202 I left plus 64 I middle plus zero I write equals 58. So I did some algebra there. Um, then for the next one, I'm gonna have to be careful with the signs. So we're gonna have zero I left plus 64 I middle plus 25, no, 135 because we have um, 110 and 25, so it's going to be 125 I right equals, and this is going to be negative 3. And now for this, we're going to have 1 I left plus 1 I, no, minus 1 I middle plus 1 I right equals 0. So now I'm going to put this into a matrix. So it's going to be 2, 0. Oh, I'll use a different color. I know. It doesn't matter. Not important. Matters to me, which is a dubious value. 2, 0, 2, 64, 0, 58, 0, 64, 135, negative 3, and then 1, negative 1, 1, 0. We want to reduce this to row reduced echelon form. On, clear. Uh, let's see here. Second matrix. We're going to edit matrix A. Matrix A is going to be a 3 by 4. 3 by 4. We're going to put in our numbers. 2, 0, 2. Enter. 64, enter, 0, enter, enter, 58, no, 58, enter, 0, enter, 64, enter, 135, enter, negative 3, enter, 
1, negative 1, 1, 0. All right, so this is our matrix, 2, 0, 2, 64, 64, 0, 1, 35, 1, negative 1, 1, and 58, 3. Okay, second, quit, second, matrix. Now we're going to do some math with this matrix. We're going to do uh, row reduced echelon form, R, R, E, F. And we're going to do that using matrix A that we just created. Close parentheses, I don't think that matters. Boop, boop, boop. And now it says that 1, so it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. This is the identity matrix. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1 is 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.148, 0 0.148. And negative 0 0.09. Negative 0 0.09 amps for all of these. So this is going to be I left, this is I middle, and this is I right. And one thing to notice here is... I have a negative sign, which means that I got the direction wrong for I right. So I right, even though I said it goes to, uh, it goes clockwise, I right actually goes that direction, which is why I say that the direction doesn't really matter for what you arbitrarily choose the currents to go in the beginning, because if you get a negative answer that just says, oh, you were wrong in the beginning, Flip the error. So calculate the currents in each resistor of the circuit, which basically means calculate the three currents, left, right, and middle branch. So the left branch is going to be 0 0.24 amps. The middle branch is 0 0.148. Yep, that makes sense. And then I right is going to be negative 0 0.09. And if you look at it, we said that um, I middle is I left and I right added together. And so 0.24 minus 0 0.09 is about 0.148. My rounding was a little off, but that was the idea. And that's how we use um, a calculator, TI-83, to do the complicated math for us. You could totally solve this by substitution or by hand. Not worth it. You're going to make a mistake. It's just part of life. If and you save so much time by just putting this in your calculator and letting your calculator do it. So that's how I would approach this problem, using a Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law, simultaneous equations, and solving a matrix using row-reduced echelon form. Hope that helped. See you next time.